Oh, what's going on my fellow junior wizards and witches, this is one Dr. Genius here and welcome to another Prodigy video. As many of you guys know, earlier this month, Prodigy decided to toss everything into the treasure track. And with that, you can see they introduced quite a lot of new treasures in-game. Here you can see them, and you can also see that they introduced a new logo for Ultimate Membership so you can easily distinguish between it and Normal Membership, right? The thing you guys get from this new treasure track, the Palm Tree, the wonderful Palm Tree which can be rotated which can basically be flipped horizontally, not horizontally. Oh, okay, a new quest, that's great. Okay, so next after that is 500 coins, another 500 coins, and some of the air currency. But on the other hand, we get those more marbles, which aren't really the most awe-inspiring. And we get some sort of new plants, I believe everyone gets these plants, so I won't be going over them. I'll just be going over the things which are for members and non-members. Okay, over here we seem to get some sort of bow as a member. So this might just be our membership chest as well, who knows what that has. And some member works. Let's check our chest real quick, come on. Let's go over here, head to our hats. And we should have gotten a new one, considering that we got a bow. Now honestly I hate the update which they did here where they basically distributed everything upon healing because you can't easily tell where things rank and it's also taking them time to load in the images of certain items which is a bit annoying you know because I have to slowly scroll through everything and wait look and check upon image detection you know on the other hand I think they cutified nearly every item in game making it look a bit cuter oh yeah definitely the astral hood that used to look ugly beforehand I believe Dragon here, that one's a major change. Snow and snowflake hair clip. Okay, they definitely dumbed down the design of that. So honestly, I preferred the previous design, but okay. Although I haven't seen that cool fancy hat in quite a while. First of all, let's put on the Cupid hat and now let's search on for that bow. I'm really hoping it's a hair item and like not armor or something. Or maybe it could be for your pet, we would not know. Yeah, I will have to check the pets because now our pets can also have items. So they might have just given us pet accessories at this point and we wouldn't know. Now one thing I did wish they did was like to show us what type of item it is and where it can be equipped. But I guess we will have to check our pets. Okay, I think that about confirms it. The odds of finding that bow over here are going to be pretty small to none. So I'll go and check the pet book pretty soon. Okay, time to check our pet book. Let's click over here, let's go on our pet book and see who can equip what. Okay, here we have ourselves Jabrella, and if we go to relics over here, hopefully- yes, okay, there- oh, okay, yeah, there you go. It seems like we get ourselves a kelp bow, which means our pets can put on some kelp armor. Now look at how fancy it looks, top hat and a bow, perfectly good to go to any occasion. And over here you can see certain things even do give different bonuses, like it seems like if you put a clanky bell on your Jabrella, it only gets a damage bonus of 2. So it seems like you have to equip the right types of armor to deal with the right amount of damage. Now this is 28 and this is 25. And we did get a clamshell from the normal track as well which is pretty good. So you have to make sure to equip the right items. Alright so that's pretty cool I'd say so myself. You can even evolve your pets and stuff. That's not what we're here for. Let's close out of this and see what the next few items are. I'll quickly go over all of them. Hopefully I did unlock enough to get all of them. Now, they do have this special type of member works over here, summer charms. But we're not really here for that. And, oh my god, please don't tell me this is- okay. It also seems they did bring in a crown which always sways as if it's in the water. A seaweed crown which gives a 72 health which is quite frankly pathetic but it would look nice. And apart from that we also get a palm tree but like I can't exactly tell where which are the membership box rewards and which aren't. Um Goldfish pets? Hold on, is this a buddy or something? Like, since when did buddies provide us heart heart bonuses? Okay, well that's unexpected, and at the end you can always see there's like a new type of pet. I'm guessing this might just be like the ultimate membership box pet equivalent, like lagoon shades up pranksters, they hide in the swamps pretending to be regular trees and scare unsuspecting wizards. So now you actually have to work in Podgy in order to get your things, who would have guessed that? And we also get a clamshell mount, okay so that's where the mounts come from. Anyways you can see the number for how many levels you'd have to go up is kind of blanked out, so you would have to reach that in order to calculate. And we've collected everything beforehand and seen it except for that palm tree. 
So let's just collect everything that's remaining over here, these 500 gems, and of course, I'm guessing this isn't a funky Lamorph marble, so it might just be a buddy, or it could be the case that it just follows us around. So what's this? It seems like it also has a rare funky that- oh, it's a deep sea funky, they removed that from the ultimate membership box and put it in the normal box. And on top of that, we also get a Veja Bloom, which is interesting, so now they're starting to give away like the ultimate epics through the- to the non-members as well. Interesting, interesting. And you can see these are basically all of the items we're giving away. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to check out that palm tree because that is a need, come on. Let's just find it real quick. Let's get to a visit house. Go to house. And place down smack dab in the center of the wizard's house a palm tree. I believe it should be at the very end of decorations, so I'll just head over there. And now we wait. Okay, it is not here. Well, that is certainly unexpected. Let's try the lamps. Not there. Maybe it's the plants. You know, that makes more sense. Well, plants. Oh, yes, here we go. The palm tree, the wonderful palm tree, which can be rotated, which can basically be flipped horizontally, not horizontally. Yeah, it can basically be flipped around the y-axis. It's literally like, no, they literally flipped around the y-axis. You can't even see anything differentiating it apart from this few leaves. So I guess it does look cool, adds a little bit of a summer decoration, but honestly, the crystal cavern items look way better or this any day of the week. But yeah, that's basically everything you guys get from this new treasure track. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found out the awesome ever items that you could get. Originally, I was planning on like completing the entire treasure track and showing it to you guys, but that looks like it would take quite a while. So anyways, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to demolish that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you all next time. On Dr. Genie's Out the House, thank you for watching and bye! Now what I went ahead and did is I completed a few quests, so hopefully we should be able to collect all of the um, membership box items which are available so let me just quickly collect everything over here you know surprisingly these quests the daily ones don't provide much don't provide much in terms of um track reward uh treasure track points but on the other hand if you do your daily um weekly uh, oh no i was completing my weekly quest and then reset okay but if you guys do your daily and weekly quest, you guys should be pretty much good to go. It does give a an okay amount of points. But then really what you want to do is you just want to complete your season quests because they give the most amount of points. I like cast 30 physical spells, 25 astral spells, 40 water. Like you can see, these are kind of the spells you want to go for. And also you want to evolve four pets because that's one of them, you know. And that is a member spell. And of course, on the other hand, you have your challenge questions, which are like answer these many questions and blah, blah, blah. So you can see these become a member gives us 15 okay that's kind of disproportional compared to everything that's like seven or eight levels which is okay i okay that means i should be able to unlock it since i did become a member but anyways you can see the treasure trove ends in 20 days and now we have 20 treasures left to be unlocked considering that each stage only gives us three treasures we can take two out of that out and that means we unlock six stages Let's open this over here first. It seems like we got some Cadme Scrolls as our first rewards. And then over here, this seems to be our first member box item. Let's connect the snowflakes and the shell. Alright, so now let's quickly exit out of here and see what we got. If we check our inventory over here, what did we even get? Okay, hold on, I've already forgotten. Darn it. Okay, well, we got something and I'll have to scroll to see what it is. Darn, they could have really streamlined the system. Okay, I'm gonna have to open the treasure track again and see what it is. Okay, so that seems to be either some sort of buddy or a house item, which is unexpected to say at least. Let's look over here. Come on. No, no darn it. Wrong one. Let's look over here. Head to our buddies tab. And at the top we have the fox. And at the okay, yes, a steam engine. Okay, it's a steam engine. Okay. Let's see what it says. Choo choo, have this little traditional steam engine follow you around. And that's, I be oh, what's that in our top right hand corner? What is that? Oh, hold on, what is that, Prodigy? What is that? Okay, well, uh, while I'm wondering what that is, it seems like we got ourselves a cute little steam engine which follows us around and it even produces small steam clouds. 
How adorable. Well, this seems to be one of the ultimate membership box rewards, I guess you could say, since they transferred it into the treasure track, and let's see what else is there. 